I usually actually end up composing something, you know, on any each, each piano that I restore once it gets to the point where I can play it. <laughs> because it's it's a, it represents another another voice, a new uh, a new thing for me to hear, a new color, you know, like an artist with with colors. Uh, there is color in the piano. You can hear the passion in his voice. Peter Gray loves music and musical instruments, especially the piano. Even as a kid, the few times that I remember the piano tuner coming, I loved the sound of the piano afterward. It was such a difference before and after. So that kind of kindled my interest in this whole thing. And it has something to do with my, what I hear when I'm playing the piano. What began as a hobby, as a young boy, turned into a lifelong career. Peter is the doctor who knows when a piano needs help just by playing a few keys. And it's all by ear. Hear that? That sound better? Yeah. Which is exactly how Peter learned to play the piano. Peter first began taking piano lessons when he was just eight years old, but he quit after about a year because he didn't like to read the music. He preferred playing by ear. Right, Peter? Show us how. I was fascinated with the piano tuner's toolkit, his tools and what he did and the sound before and after. Peter became one of the youngest members of the State Piano Technicians Guild at age 22. It takes a while to learn. It's not a three or four month um, endeavor. It's actually, I was told, five years or 500 pianos, whichever comes first. Peter explains it's the weather that causes a piano to go out of tune. The humidity change, because it uh, swells and shrinks the wood, and things go sharp and flat, and they do so unevenly. So um, just nature is going to cause the piano to go out of tune. The piano needs to be tuned in place in the home, um, preferably not moved after it's been tuned also. Peter advises piano owners to install a humidity control system inside the instrument, which stabilizes humidity levels. That is the single best thing a piano owner can do for their piano, is to uh, do something about the environment to control it. Peter shuns the use of smartphone apps that can tune a piano for you. He trusts his ear to do that. Restoring and rebuilding antique pianos is another passion for Peter Gray. He rescued this 20th century piano, known as a chickering, before the owners brought it to the dump. The ivories are perfect, absolutely perfect. And this is from 1907. Up until um, the late 1800s, um, or mid, mid to late 1800s, the chickering piano in Boston was the piano to have. Everybody who was anybody had a chickering. The piano has been played less than 200 hours, and Peter plans to restore most of it with original parts. The biggest challenge, replacing the strings. Chickering decided from here down that they were gonna do one string per pin. And that's a pain in the neck <laughs> to uh, uh, duplicate. After spending some 200 hours working on the chickering, this is what it looks like now. Looking at these very elderly instruments, I mean, we're talking 100 to 150 years old, and looking at the craftsmanship that went into them, it's meticulous and it's virtually perfect. Peter shares his workplace with his wife, Dominique. She operates the Yellow Barn, which sits on the same property. The Yellow Barn is a shop that literally has everything, and because the items are restored by Dominique, you can always find something new. Dominique also helps with interior decorating. I'm always on the hunt for my clients for different things that are very unusual or that they are hard to find. So if I see something else that I like that on the that journey, then I'm like, oh, 
I like that. There's something about it speaks to me. I want to do that. Bringing luster and shine to items that are worn, be it furniture or pianos, is what Dominique and Peter Gray do. For Peter, these instruments that create music when a padded hammer strikes strings are a constant source of amazement and wonder. It's been estimated that there are around 12,000 parts in a piano, and a lot of them are right here. <laughs> the history behind each piano, the people who gather around them, and the joy they bring. There's nothing else in anybody's house that will last as long as a piano if it's well cared for. But once we get to the tuning part, which is way down the road, and I can start to hear that piano's voice, hear it, hear it talk. I like that. I like that. Starting to get a little <laughs> emotional. You can have a relationship with a piano that I'm not so sure if that that's true with uh, other instruments. Yeah.